Blurring a background image is a great way to draw attention to what's in the foreground. In this video, we'll apply a quick blur to a background. And as a bonus, you'll learn how to apply any filter in a non-permanent, editable way as a smart filter. Give it a try with this image from the practice files for this tutorial. First, let's bring in a foreground image. Go up to the File menu, choose Place Embedded, and navigate to this image in the practice files and click Place. To make this image smaller, hold the Shift key, hover over a corner, and drag inward. If you want to reposition this image, click inside of the box and drag to where you want it. And you can rotate it, too, by moving your cursor outside of one of the corners, and when the cursor becomes a double-pointed curved arrow, dragging the image to rotate it a little bit. To finish placing the image, go up to the Options bar and click the check mark. So that's the beginning of a travel composite. If we want to draw more attention to the foreground image, let's try blurring the background image. And we'll do that by adding a filter. Go to the Layers panel and select the background layer. Then go up to the Filter menu. And before you choose a filter, choose Convert for Smart Filters and click OK. That changes the background layer into a special layer that will support an editable or smart filter. So let's go ahead and apply a blur filter as a smart filter. Go back up to the filter menu and go to Blur and choose the Gaussian Blur filter. In the Gaussian Blur dialog box that opens, just drag the radius slider to the right to increase the blur or to the left to decrease blur. With the preview box checked, you'll see a preview of the blur in the image. If I uncheck that, you can see how the image looks without the blur. And if I check that, here's how it looks with that blur. When you're satisfied, click OK. Take a look at the Layers panel, and you'll see that the background layer has a sub-layer underneath it. And that's the Smart Filter, the Gaussian Blur Smart Filter. You can apply any filter the same way. The beauty of using Smart Filters is that they remain editable. So even if I were to save this file and close it, and then reopen it again, the Gaussian Blur filter would be here, waiting for me to re-edit it if I wanted to. The only thing you have to be sure to do is to save in a format that retains layers, like the Photoshop or PSD format. If you do want to re-edit a Smart Filter, just double-click its name here in the Layers panel, and it reopens, and you can make a change. And then click OK. So the next time you're applying a filter, think about whether you might want to change that filter. And if so, apply it as a smart filter and save in the PSD format. 